I was just scratching around for a bit of brass to make um, the hips toggle out of and uh, I come across these in one of the jars and uh, what these are, these are the uh, pins out of a British 13 amp uh, plug so we have plugs uh, that look like that and they've got rectangular pins uh, live and neutral and an earth uh, pin but uh, it's just a, a very useful source of um, uh, good uh, good brass and um, so they're going to come in useful So this is going to be my uh, top uh, part of the toddle, or the toddle itself, and then it's going to engage on the, uh, the, the bit that's fixed to the switch. And I want it to have a profile like that that I've cut out in paper. So the switch, uh, the toggle will sort of scoot past it um, one way or the other. But when it uh, when it gets caught, when it doesn't. Uh, move uh, far enough and it's time to engage it'll do that uh, so i've got to cut that shape this shape i've got to cut that out of some brass i'm going to do that with this but this has got to go on the switch and i'm a little bit concerned that it's it it's quite heavy this bit of brass is sometimes it'll just See the switch hasn't recovered under its own strength. So I can't use that much brass. It's okay when I come in a bit obviously, but the, the leverage is such. Um, so I've got to uh, reduce the weight of this. And then I shall uh, drill and tap this. I shall drill through there and uh, tap into this. Or at least that's what I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, it seems to be all right. By the way, I'm not measuring any of this. This is all by hand, by eye. Um, and I think it'll be near enough for, uh, for what I want. But um, there's no need to measure this because uh, I'm not working to a plan. It's just what I've got in my mind. Part way there. Originally, I had thought I would drill two holes and uh, drill and tap that but uh, rather than do that what I might do because the brass is wider than this uh, lever on the switch I might just file out a, a little groove uh, in the brass so that the um, the brass goes over that arm a little bit and then there's just one screw and, and that'll just stop it from twisting not that there's uh, an awful lot of uh, work on it but I suppose it's going to get uh, tapped every uh, every second as the pendulum goes back one way and then the other on its uh, two second cycle. I just need a little slot to uh, accept the uh, tongue on that switch doesn't need to engage very far um, but I, I just think it's out. it would be useful and this is where I miss having a mill
and that's not wide enough. And it would have been easier to drill two holes and tap them. This is the thing when you make a, a one-off, because um, I'm not going to make two of these, um, you learn all sorts of things and this is why your designers are constantly wanting to change things, uh, because you, you learn all of the mistakes on the first one. And, um, takes time to uh, to understand what those problems are and uh, that's the benefit of mass production you uh, you get over all of the uh, the learning curve and then it's uh, it's easy because you know exactly what you're doing let's try that fit and again I haven't measured that I just uh, other than what uh, just offering that in there so I just tidied that up a bit um, it's just by eye um, not exactly beautiful but a blind man would like to see it Okay, yeah, there's the switch. Uh, it's blessed stainless steel, this is. It's, <laughs> it's very hard. Um, anyway, yeah, that's drilled, and uh, there's a the little dog to go on the end, and uh, the screw there. Um, I realise I've committed a, uh, a serious error, and that is I checked that mercury switch um, resistance, the one I'm not going to use. Um, but I didn't actually check this switch, uh, which was a bit silly, wasn't it? Um, I thought my service engineer training would have uh, kicked in. Okay, so that's uh, that's out, and then I'll I'll tidy that up and uh, take the uh, um, that spare bit of thread off but I'll do it up nice and tight I'll do that in the vise okay that's uh, that so there's my uh, swinging toddle and um, uh, the theory is that uh, uh, that'll uh, do the job but uh, we'll see and say I haven't measured any of this I'm just doing what I think is right based on what I've seen on uh, that little prototype that I made. You remember me saying to you that I committed the sin of not testing the switch. Look at this. <laughs> 1.2 megohms. Um, so what a what a pain. The good news is that I've got a, a brand new one here. Um, that's uh, that's never been used. Uh, so what the, what's called new old stock or old new stock, is it? Mm, bit bit worrying, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I'm committed now. So rather than uh, re-drill this one what I'm going to do is uh, push that pin out 
hopefully and use that arm on this switch so no fun I can't break the switch or something but uh, there you go I should have known better I couldn't get the pins out uh, without hitting something so I, I chose not to do it so I've re-drilled or oh, sorry I've drilled the new one but I've um, put the hole a little bit further in board because uh, when I did offer this one up I could see there are some issues so this is where I am with the mechanism uh, I've got a lot of swing on the pendulum occasionally like there it goes and gets two teeth so I just need to uh, raise the position of that arm so as it's connected sort of up here and uh, it just limits the uh, the amount of swing on there. Now you see I've <laughs> twisted a bit of wire around the arbor at the end there so that's uh, that's notionally two seconds but I haven't set the uh, the time so I haven't uh, um, I haven't set the, uh, the bob weights uh, anything like uh, right there um, <clears throat> So uh, you see that's uh, that's doing that. I've put the magnet there. I'm not running very efficiently at the moment. It's uh, it's energising about every second uh, pulse at the moment. Uh, but as I've got. Oh, if uh, if care logs ever have a competition for uh, alternate uses for their uh, packages, uh, remember my name, won't you? Um, that's the switch that I've put on there and um, as you, s you remember I had a little uh, pair of contacts out of a relay so any old switch will do what I'm interested in is the shape of that uh, um, that dog at the bottom there uh, so I've just um, taken a bit of cardboard close up maybe and um, just taking a bit of cardboard and put a, a bolt through it and uh, that's going through uh, the uh, the end of one of these things yeah that I've uh, I've just shaped and the uh, the shape of that and the size of that is just what I thought I would make so I, I haven't sort of planned it uh, particularly well um, but it's just to give me an idea of uh, where to go next you can see some of the issues there okay so I, I, I need to start measuring things and uh, get into grips with um, just how much um, uh, angular displacement uh, uh, everything needs but uh, it's working so you can see that uh, little bit of metal I've got there for the uh, magnet to react against <laughs> it's held to the pendulum with these clips and uh, that little uh, pore at the top is held on with that paper clip there um, but uh, it's just um, to get an idea of uh, where to go next uh, with uh, with this. The red line at the bottom of the screen represents the full extent of the pendulum's travel when it is fully charged that is that's the the peak of its travel the red line in the middle of the screen now indicates the pendulum's travel uh, when it's just not overreaching the dog so the little uh, toddle there is just caught on the left hand edge of the dog and then on the subsequent right hand swing so it operates the switch.